Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Bujan Fishing. Today I'm going to talk about what is HDCC2. HDCC2 is stands for High Density Carbon Composite Second Generation. It sounds complicated and hard to understand. Now I'm going to tell you what is different the HDCC2 and solid carbon and hollow carbon in the market. HDCC2 is patent technology of the rock band making which is available at only Bujan product in the world. Let me tell you the five different between HDCC2 and solid carbon and hollow carbon. First is the power drag mass. HDCC2 has totally different level of drag mass with solid carbon and hollow carbon. For example, the solid carbon it is soft, bendable, and flexible, but it is very low drag mass eventually below 8 kg for the hollow carbon is most common material for fishing rod some are using tore sk misumisi and so on it's possible to enhance by different grade of carbon type up to 7 to 40 kg of course it is depend on the thinness of carbon taper has this is to prevent over five years in no metal reel fishing and or machine test 8mm has provided the drag mass up to 30 kg. Comparison Solid carbon 8mm below than 8 kg. Hollow carbon 11 to 70mm 7 kg to 40 kg. HDCC2 8mm up to 30 kg. Second, how about the lowest of toast carbon? Solid carbon are made by carbon sand. Carbon sand might be heated in high temperature and pour into the mold until it's cooled out. Then the solid carbon is done. However, the process of manufacturing solid carbon doesn't make any exception of resin and it will make the solid carbon become more quite heavily. Hollow carbon has some different grade. Low grade is heavy and high grade are very light. It is because the heat process to force out the resin and it will lower down the resin percentage of fishing rod. That will make the rod more stiff and lighter weight. HDCC2, I use the latest technology of rod making. Definitely, we can't find more the detail of its comprehensive manufacturing from Bujan factory, and I think it should be considered as trade secret. As I know, it is also utilized the sales customized heat machine to lower down the percentage leasing to the carbon element. Comparison Solid carbon 6 feet 118 to 220 gram. Hollow carbon 110 to 160 gram. HDCC2 113 to 160 gram. 3. The reading power High tan hollow carbon such as 3060, 40D, 60D is absolutely in best leading power. Instead, it is easy to break. Therefore, the rod designer must be mixed with 2040 or 30D carbon and is made uncertainly on its leading power. Solid carbon, needless to say, no leading power at all. HDCC2 is considered of 60% 40D carbon element on its blank. The future development of HDCC may increase the percentage of high carbon element. Comparison Solid carbon, no. Hollow carbon, yes. Depend on grade. HDCC2, yes. 4. Parabolic action. Hollow carbon load is limited with maximum parabolic. When it bends to the maximum limit, the force on the hollow carbon may shift from round to over until it breaks. Solid carbon is super flexible and it can be bent until the link from top to bottom. HDCC2 is in between of solid carbon and hollow carbon. It can be set in semi full parabolic action. Comparison solid carbon full parabolic hollow carbon limited parabolic HDCC2 in semi full parabolic action. 5. Backbone 
every rod must be tuned by according to its backbone. A right backbone tuning to make the rod powerful, easy to handle, and hard to break. Have all types of rod got their backbone? Hollow carbon, yes. It has the backbone. Solid carbon, no. Because it's ejected from a mold. It is like the way of producing the plastic product. Has DCC2? Yes. It has the backbone. You can easily find out the backbone. Comparison. Solid carbon? No. Hollow carbon? Yes. Has DCC2? Yes. There are all five different between hollow carbon, solid carbon, and has DCC2. We can't say which is good or bad. It depends on your preference and personality. If you have any question, please leave us a comment. We will answer you in next video. Please subscribe our YouTube and follow our Facebook. Thank you. See you next time.